We've seen our pay eroded. We've seen our services underfunded. We've seen our vacancies unfilled. We've seen our people unable to do their jobs properly. We've seen our hospitals begin to fray round the edges where we've been under so much pressure. We have fought COVID together and we have been insulted by this government, by Boris Johnson, who was looked after in this hospital, St Thomas is behind us. I look after Mr Johnson when he was sick. I cooked for him. He said he was going to look after NHS staff, so I was quite surprised when we didn't get anything. Without us, nursing can do not much. It is housekeeping that removes the germs, removes the bacteria, and we take our risk not only in the hospital, even at home, from carrying the infection home. You have to disinfect every room and beds, everything have to be done and therefore you have to stay behind, work extra hours. It was really, really a horrible time for me especially because I live with my family, my son and his wife and his kids and I couldn't see, I live in the same house as they do and I couldn't see them for four at all. It's very, very hard at the moment, so um, we're hard to process because um, just ordinary clap won't pay our bills, so we want pay rise.
Nothing. Protect the NHS. We are the NHS. Protect the NHS. We are the NHS. The fact that the NHS has been very much run down over the last 10 years of austerity and it has got less funding now um, per person than it had before, fewer hospital beds and most importantly, fewer hospital staff. And it's the staffing crisis which actually led to the situation where during coronavirus they had to more or less stop doing all of, lots of other NHS work um, because they had a limited staff and they focused those, that on the people with coronavirus. So now we have a backlog of something like 10 million people on the NHS waiting list and the government is using this as a pretext to bring in the private sector even more. Having run down the NHS so it hasn't got the capacity, it's now going to give billions, I think it's something like 10 billion to the private sector over the next three, four years to provide elective care. The other way that the private sector has been brought in is things like test and trace, you've got Circle, Sital, we've got Deloitte, we've got private sector coming in and taking over big parts of public health which should actually be part of local authority care. Um, so they're just getting more and more embedded. We need to be demanding these same rights and conditions at work for our colleagues who have been outsourced to private companies, who have been left to the mercy of companies like Serco and Sodexo. No attempt at ethical or social seduction can eradicate from my heart a deep burning hatred for the Tory party. So as far as I am concerned, they are lower than vermin. The NHS will last as long as there are folk left with the fate to fight for it. And that's what we must do. Stand together and fight!